What's up, people? I'm going to show you how to stream, how to stream music through Lightstream for people who use Lightstream with no capture card. There's not a lot of videos on there that shows you how to do it this way. There's not a lot of videos on there to show you really any way, like one way, really. And like it involves downloading a driver to do this, do that, and doesn't work properly if you look in the comments. A lot of people say it don't work properly. So, I'm going to show you a way that works properly. might not be the best way, but as of right now, it's like one of the only ways besides the other way that I've seen. So, this is OBS right here. So, what you're going to do here, you got your live stream, right? You got all your good stuff, everything. So, what you're going to need is Bautismo, first of all. Uh, so we can start over right there with that. Gonna need Bautismo. Download him. He's a Discord bot. Mixer bot. Twitch. Whatever. Log in with your mixer. Authorize it. Make him a moderator on your stream. They say it works proper. It works the best. The bots. If you make the bots moderators. So. After you got him linked to your mixer. Right. We're gonna to want to go now. I use Tippy Stream. You can use Stream Labs to do this. It would be a whole nother video, but similar, a whole nother way. Uh, Stream Jar and a few others. But for me, I think the easiest way is Tippy Stream. Log in with your mixer. Improve. And then in here, there's a lot of great things you can do with Tippy Stream. You can do the alerts for the pop ups, for the live feeds, for the follows, for the hosts, for subs, things like that. Whatever you want to do. Bunch of stuff Tippy Stream can do. Bunch of stuff. So, anyways, what you're going to want to do is go to Scene Creator. Okay, I already got one created, but you just click Create New. Scene's going to pop up. It's going to look like this but without this guy here in the middle it's going to just be this blank, screen, blank green screen what you're going to want to do is come over here to iframe and see when you hover over the things on the bottom there it tells you what it does All right so interrogate other websites widgets so what you're going to want to do is click on iframe copy and paste You're going to want to go to iframe in a second here, getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> so after you got this, you after you have your scene, you know, up and running, ready to go, with just your green screen in the back, you got to come over here to Bautismo, and you're going to go to Music Player. Now, you're going to want to go to View Music Player Overlay. Click on that, you're going to get this page right here. This is where your music's going to be coming from, basically. Copy this, that link right there, what we need. Now I'll come back to Tippy Stream. Click iframe. Paste that bad boy in there. Click create. After you click create, this is gonna pop up on here. Maybe that size, maybe not that size. I mean it really don't matter. We're using this like like a middleman, like a third party, which is exactly what Lightstream calls it. It's a middleman. So, after you do that, you click launch. After you click launch, you click this bad boy right here. Export to OBS or XSplit, and now also says, or Lightstream. Click on that. Copy that. Close this down. You can even close this down after if you want. You're done. You're done there. So, you go back to your Lightstream. Go to add a layer third party interrogations scroll down to the bottom to tippy stream or whichever one you're using click on it no matter which one you use no matter which button you click this is what you get you get this little box right here with a place to enter a link and change the name of this layer so you're gonna to want to paste that what we got from tippy stream paste that into there then you just click off of this, click like over here, click away from it, boom, TP 
Groupie stream will now display it. Bam! Now your music is coming through your stream. But you're like, Team Killer, I got this big old video here. What do I do with it? Well, I'm sure you have somewhere to hide it. I'm sure if you're using a webcam, you stick it behind the webcam. Stick it behind an image, behind the overlay, whatever. You take it, you reduce it down to nothing, whatever, you know. And you hide it somewhere. Easy enough. But, to hide it, you want to make sure this is important. Because watch, see, because it's all the way to the top, it doesn't hide. Right? It's there. Well, you have to move it down. It's got to be down lower in the list. Might as well just put it all the way to the bottom. Put it all the way to the bottom. If you can't click on it like something's in the way, click on it over here first. Come to it. Move it behind something. Voila. Now it's out of the way. Now we just have the audio of it. We don't need the visual of it. But if you want, you can have little music videos playing in the corner over here or something like that for you, those of you who don't use face cams. You can actually use that instead. Put a little thing over here and it could be playing the music video as well. Whatever you want to do. And that's pretty much it. But what I want to show you one more thing before we go is show you about your song cue. So with your song cue, let's just clear it. This is where all your songs are going to queue up. Now, it's automatically set to where only two can queue at once. Because you don't want people spamming the queue over and over and over again. So you can only queue two songs per user at once. So, don't worry about this. People have been having problems with this working. This is only if you're premium, it works. You click on this, you don't have to use this page, but... This ain't been working properly. Don't don't do this. I mean, maybe maybe after. I mean, this video is going to get posted on 12 15 2018, but maybe after that it might work. But for now, you click on View Music Player. This is your link. This is your page. This is your music player. So to add a song, you just do exclamation mark SR. You don't have to put the name of the artist. But it's best if you do because then it doesn't get it wrong. Let's do Metallica. Or who the bell tolls. Bam. Song added to queue. For whom the bell tolls. Scroll over to our queue. Sometimes it don't go in there straight away right that second. There we go. So now... We got it queued up in our queue. So, if people post songs in there that you don't want, you can delete it, skip it, whatever, whatnot. You know, so this is what's nice about this. So, once you click play, it'll show the image here, but the video plays on this page. And the easiest way to adjust the volume is on this page. Right here, just like a normal YouTube video. <laughs> This is adjusting the volume in your stream. Lower, lower, etc. Might not be coming through this stream right now because I'm using OBS here. And uh, with OBS, it's a little bit different. It's a browser, is what you add. You add a source, add a browser source, and you paste that. Let's see, I might just be able to show you, anyways. You paste that. In the here right there that's where you paste that link and that right there would be your source here for this for an OBS studio but like I said again that would be a, a whole other video record the video. Great song. If you don't like the talent, then you suck. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get music to come through your stream. You know, whether you're using OBS, whether you're using OBS, 
my stream. It doesn't matter. Stay streaming, people. Don't forget to check out my Discord. Check out my page. Come check out the stream. Peace. Bye.